Oh, ow! That not cool! Not cool, no, no! Welcome back, everyone, to another round of Green Hill. We are back, of course, where I was last time with the new climbing place that I need a grappling hook gun. And guaranteed, there's something over here on the island with the stone. That means I need to use that. I also need to get some water going. And since I've got me a little safe spot, why not drop some coconut bowls here? You know what? I'm just going to drop the tortoise shell too. That way I'll get some water going and I'm going to explore for a minute. So the last thing in the notebook is that I have to dive and find Mia. I've dove and found my way here and obviously something's going on with the rock. And I need to find a spot to, I guess, make the drink because... I haven't seen anything to indicate that I could just go ahead and start making it like with a normal bowl type thing. And so I need to find a spot for that. And that helped my hydration right there. So that should be pretty good. So based on the map, I am right here and we don't have anything else to go further to the side. We don't have anything to go down. I'm assuming we're going to have a more southern direction later. But I am past that point. I'm down here in this area. And you see it starts to thicken back up. So it's like that's just the middle of the swampy area. And now I'm getting back into a larger area. And oh, I see something. We have solar panels along with um, the big tree over here. Actually, let me make sure I've got enough. Nope, I need to get some more rope just in case while I'm here. We also have the big tree. I'm going to take that stupid vine just in case I do need to make some more hallucinogenic fluid uh, base door. Uh, this is interesting. We actually have a door that we have, you know, that transition same as with the climbing that it just shifts like it's doing another map load. And we've got, oh, you know, like full body coveralls. Obviously some kind of... Uh, disinfectant type thing so it's probably a bad idea that I'm going in here without a suit uh, required items infected blood sample that's not sounding good so we're finding out more and more that there's some kind of something going on here and I hear a, a native okay okay so hearing the guy plus this Let's just log, intensely red leaves. Distinctive characteristics. Okay. Its flower contains chemical compounds. Okay, quasin, so among others. Quasin, which we've used for plants in the world. taking care of fever. Use it to make a brew for fevers and pain. Okay, so something about getting that. Aside from this usage, I haven't found evidence of So I think we found like properties. some disease or something. Apart from its terrible taste, the plant doesn't have any other distinguishable features. So he's like right outside. Uh, Dr. Higgins, difficult personality, like mine, it's possible to continue research without him. So I was involved with this in some way. Uh, two samples, the last transport was broken. Okay, so maybe we're not quite so crazy. Maybe we actually are like doing something. We just, you know, forgot what we're doing. Fridge, that's helpful. Oh, there we go. Infected blood sample. Up to 12 inches long. Okay. All right. This goes here. Yes. Now I just need the right sample. Uh, okay. Don't tell me what sample for that. Insert test sample. That's, that's, that's all I'm getting. Uh, test sample. What I, well, I was supposed to go outside and knock out the headhunter. It's kind of interesting is actually playing his audio outside the tent. We also know it means I'll get attacked when I go back outside. All right, nothing. Oh no, oh no, of course. When I am low on energy, I get a uh, black caiman. At least 
It happened now, not when I'm swimming. All right, I made it back just in time to sleep. Of course, now it's like very early in the morning. I think I'm gonna eat the military ration. Look at that, yeah, I need some protein. And it's still raining. Like now I think I'm getting into the constant rain. All right, end of the building is where I heard Mr. Singy, Mr. Sing Song, and he's not here now. Of course, I did sleep through the knot or, you know, into the knot, so he probably got tired and went home. Let's see, we're going to find something here. I know it. Empty can. Sure, we'll take that. Not like I already don't have enough of those waiting to be used up. Cane toad body. I guess something else killed it, maybe? Oh, we got another building here. That's all right. A uh, sick place or barracks? I could have just slept over here and probably been attacked during the night by a native. Hand milk. Uh, you know what? Let's just yeah, do that. Wow, thirty cars, fifteen protein from canned milk. And hey, save point. Painkillers, canned milk. Uh, yeah, I'll wait on that. Oh, big to uh, hole in the wall. Problems with connectivity, audio logs, okay. Let's see, every day, 1200 UTC. All right. And something got there. Oh, let's see. Fusion is futile due to lack of the Y object. Evacuate the base so everybody left. Probably left us, uh, you know, here. The year long quarantine which they agreed to in their signed contracts. Man, I bet they did not read that part of the contract in enough detail. I know if I get in the water and try to swim for the other side, I'm either going to be killed by piranha because it's off limits, and that's what they use to keep you bound to the map, or I'm going to be attacked by a black caiman. Yeah, this just screams end of the road kind of uh, look to it. Hey, all right, I found Stonehenge. This is a, a smaller stone hinge, and there's the bowl. What do you know? There's the bowl I was looking for. This feels kind of like the uh, the little stone hinge thing from Spinal Tap. It's, it's not quite as big as impressive as a real stone hinge, but it's kind of got the same look to it. All right, got my ember. Let's ignite this fire. Get this party started. All right, I need the psychotropia thing. All right, here we go. Insert. And let's have ourselves another uh, trip. Yeah, that, oh. It looks worse and worse every time I have to make it. Like I'm just drinking bark and worms. Oh. Hey, uh. OT, come back. Come back, OT. So I guess in this case, it's like if I had not found the other rocks over there, he'd be leading me there anyway. And apparently he's leading me through lower tide uh, because there's more walking areas instead of just washed out areas. It's like, yeah, if you haven't found already, here we go. OT, don't leave me, bro. Oh, my God. So, okay. You know what the worst part about this disease is? Okay, so her disease, not the, the like infected me. blood disease. Six months. How am I supposed to live my life? Oh, like that. When time is running out. I, I know, honey. Oh, but do I? I just. Okay. I can't do this anymore. All right. Patient card. Uh, medical treatment. Chest didn't show any tumors in legs. Start to knowing there's no. Unremarkable. Uh. Check up in two months. Patient's been discharged. So it's like. I want to so basically, it's like no cancerous changes found. None. But it feels like someone is holding it's like, heart in an iron fist and like nothing's unusual, but she got cancer. Okay, um, we got some stuff. Un mundo. I oh, good. It translates. Uh, soon cancer will be defeated. So it's like we went to. Amazon found stuff to destroy cancer because our wife got sick with cancer and we basically came back with stuff to I wonder if we're hallucinating this part. This is like a you know just 
delusion of grandeur type thing that were it's like you know eternal health and stuff like that it's like you think if that was the case oh there we go all right eternal health so i basically like never getting sick is what we're uh, seeing out of it oh yeah look we got a lot to read leukemia is just the beginning so wife had leukemia or something like that or no somebody named sammy had leukemia we treated them and uh 20 chance of recovery new drug was 100 efficient boy gets fast enough he'll have a long normal life uh okay so maybe we did like succeed with something ah so i feel like maybe it's a case of we did exactly what we set out to do we found a cure for cancer and because of it now we're back here feeling guilty that we exposed these well, tribes to the rest of the world. Or was the price of healing? So this, she's high. not actually alive, or maybe she what? is. What price? I'm thinking she died, and we went and found the cure later. What did I do? After that, because Tell of her, me, and please. then we basically were like, she would never have liked this because we just uh, it's be more important than quality. Okay, well, let's see. All right. The drug. Uh, World Health Association, I guess. Okay, so we basically introduced it without doing all the clinical trials we're supposed to do. Uh, you know, but we're like, well, people who are extremely ill like this can't wait the multiple years it would take to test. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, it's like, you know, saying it's going to be too many years for the people that are needing it now can't wait. So that's an excuse for why we pushed it out too quickly. Apparently, unknown virus detected in Brazil. Okay, so maybe we came back because of something as part of like our research that we found we're back to help with the virus. Maybe we caused the virus as a result of the drug. And yeah, oh yeah, look at that. We're getting just more and more. Four infected. Uh, incoming flood of patients. Okay, poor sanitation access. Healthcare is like it spread faster. Oh, uh, Brazil is on the brink of chaos. Outbreak of unknown disease spiraling out of control. So we we unleashed a zombie plague. That's what we did. We we caused a problem. Uh, with a zombie plague. Runaways are trying to escape Brazil illegally. Uh, all right, so they're calling the World Health Association, I guess, uh, what we're, what it is, instead of the World Health they Organization. This was the only solution. Okay. Shutting down airports. And I can't walk fast. And now this? Isolating the continent. Isolating, the isolating continent. all of South America. So not just Brazil, but all of South America. So that might be why we had to bribe our way to get back in here. All right. Oh, ow! That not cool! Not cool, no, no! Oh! Good thing it's a dream. All right, what we got now? Come on. Give me something good. I'm just gonna wake up and right there is the grappling gun, right? That's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna wake up and see it right there. Uh, that was like it'd be something for climbing. Graves. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, body in a bag. Oh, yeah. Vast graves. Just they're disposing of the bodies. Ooh. That was like, uh, oh. Yeah, all right, we're in the jungle, but we're coming into like a regular town now. Regular city. You think Ooh. I was worth it? Oh, she was worth it? So either she did survive cancer because of it and we caused the virus, or she died and we're imagining her saying this stuff that, you know, it's our conscious is getting the better of us that like, we went to all this to save our wife and, or, you know, to, find something for a wife and now she's dead anyway and there we go of course grappling hook gun uh, just right there like you're gonna need this yeah it doesn't look like you're gonna need this 
Oh, OT's been here making some finger paintings. Grappling gun, go! Yes, shoot! Well, at least I get to see it hook a little bit. You know, it's not like completely just turns off and I hear like a little sound. A uh, regular climbing spot. Back on the trail. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we got a little path. Maybe there is something the other way, but I'm following the path that's clearly, you know, laid out ahead of me. And, oh. That's the village. That's the village. I found a village. All right, where do I go to get down from here? Oh, another cave path. And I like how there's rain coming in. Not gonna let you get me, Scorpion. Oh, wait a second. This looks very familiar. Almost like another cave that I remember. So, basically like a long little winding path. That you just keep going and going. And eventually you're gonna find your way around. To a lower area. Uh, yeah, okay. So basically it's like everything's pointing in all the same direction. Like, yeah, this is the way you have to go. Okay, I know why this looks familiar. This, I believe, is we're back to the original base camp. Yes. Is this... What the hell happened here? Yep, realized it. It's my camp. And I've got something on me. All right, let's see. All my stuff is gone. Oh, no, they stole my canned goods. Uh, all right, got bed to sleep. I still have something. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like dynamite in a way. I hear you. It's just the one. Oh, nope. Two guys. All right, here we go. Battle time. Or not. Ah! Oh! Ah, you're still afraid of the water, huh? Up. Oh. There we go. The one I was trying to get. Oh, why did I miss that one? Give me the arrows back. I'm just making friends all over the place. You know, that, that's what I'm here for. Make friends with the natives. All right, this, I believe, is where I climbed up. At the beginning, the tutorial part where, uh, you know, the, the rope broke. And I got left behind by Mia. Okay, looking down. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I messed up. Yep, I have messed up. I am dead. All I did was try to skirt that way. Oh, <laughs> that did not kill me. Did not break a leg. All right, I might be cheating. <laughs> yep, I cheated. <laughs> well, it worked for me. You know what? All right, so they are growing bananas. Oh, wait a second. This is that abandoned village, I believe. Mia? Which kind of looks like, you? yeah, same place. Mia, say something. Hello. Mia. All right, at least I've got some hammocks. Got some clean water. Oh, well, that's... Hey, that's, uh... Good. And that's some kind... I've never had that bowl before. Ah, uh, a good banana. So somebody's been here recently enough that, you know, they left edible food. All right, so save point means now I'm going to try eating one of these unknown bulbs. If they're like the other ones, they might make me sick if they're not cooked, which is why I wanted to make sure I could save and try one out. We're going to eat. Yep, food poisoning. 50 carbs, food poisoning. Blech. All right. So, yeah, I'm sick, but hey, I saved, and I mean, that's some good progress. We got a neuroacid trip. We got a lot more information of what happened, and it really is starting to play on the sense of, is part of this that we've been experiencing from the past, or is it, you know, all hallucination, or what we experience right now completely hallucination? Maybe we, you know, out of the guilt are imagining things, or maybe we tried to suppress some of our memories because of guilt. Whatever, we got a lot of information going on now with this, and I'm ready for the next step. But that is going to be it for this episode of Green Hell. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.